Hi guys, today I had an interesting question come up and I thought to myself, hey, I never did a video that shows how to do this and so uh, I decided to go ahead and make one. Uh, what this video is all about is this menu right here. I've got uh, several pages to my website, in fact five. And if you notice when I hover about, I've got two sub pages that belong to this parent page called about. When I click on About, however, I go to the About Us page, and when I click on Portfolio, I go to Portfolio, and I click on Services, I go to Services. There are some people that want to have a parent title up here on their menu, but they don't want that to be clickable. So in other words, they don't want that to take somebody to the About page, for example. And so this video is going to show you how to configure your website so that the parent menu name, I guess you could say, is not clickable or doesn't take you anywhere, not navigable. Let me show you how to do that by jumping in the web search page editor. So what I have here is I have about portfolio and services. In this example, I'm clicking on pages and I'm going over here and what I'm going to do is create a new link by clicking add and then choose link. I'm going to name that link. Um, I'm going to name that link products because just to give a little differentiation, and then I'm going to link that to an action, and then choose scroll to top of the page. So when that link is clicked, it's technically going to just scroll to the top of its own page, and that's going to prevent someone from clicking on that link and going to another page. I'll show you how that works in a second. Click add link. And what I want to do is I want to actually use this products page to have my about and then my portfolio and my services all live underneath of it. So what I did is I drug them to the right and created them as sub pages of this products main page. Now we'll see the magic happen because I'll save the changes and then I'll refresh the website and go back to the home page or whatever. And what happens is now I have this product drop down, but when I click on it, I don't leave the page, but it, I can click on any one of the sub menus to that page and it will it'll take me there. So basically now you have this menu name and it's not clickable, it doesn't link to anything and that's uh, what we set out to create at the beginning of the video. So hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website. See more videos like this.